Hey, Mark Warnke, they call me the goat guy. Um, so I wanted to show you how I feed a bunch of babies and keep that system really easy. Um, so this is called a lamb bar. Um, and it works really great because you have the capability to feed 10 babies at once. And then we actually use tape to, to tell us the levels that we're gonna fill for a certain number of babies. And so you can see from the outside, the milk level's right here. So that's for, I believe there's eight babies in here. And then we pre-know when that thing gets drained, everybody's fed and it's good. There are some goats in here that are only about 12 to 14 days old and then there's some that are over three weeks old the ones that are over three weeks eat a lot faster so i'll watch those and make sure they don't fill themselves up too much because remember they can get a thing called overeating disorder where they actually get too full and it can be a really big problem so you do want to monitor that you don't want them just to blow up um, and so anyway what we're going to do is we're going to step in there i want to show you kind of how this works on the inside so that you can see so you can see there's nipples that come on the outside and these gray nipples are the best nipples for it and then there's a straw that goes down to the bottom and then there is a little um, this actually is a uh, ball bearing in here let me see if i can make it make noise there you go so that allows it where they're not sucking air in and it, it works also to where when they suck the milk up the up the hose they don't have to work again to keep it up the hose. It won't go back the other direction. Um, so that little thing at the bottom is really, really necessary. Now you can get these entire setups, I believe at Capernet Supply and a couple other places. Um, they're really, really handy if you're feeding a bunch of babies and I do recommend them. Um, the main thing you need to watch is if you're feeding different kinds of goats, you don't let some of them overeat because overeating is, is a problem uh, or can be. So you kind of have to just monitor those. So these guys are gonna piranha me. Um, I do want you to pay attention. This is our temporary shelter. These are the first babies of the year. We're not really ready in our big setup over here. We're still in the process. We still have a trip left, but we have babies show up early this year. And so we're just choosing a smaller pin setup than normal. Um, but you'll notice all, how much I'll have to fight to get in with these goats to push the gate in. When you have a gate mechanism, when you have to push it in, it makes it so much more difficult to enter than to open it and kind of squeeze in. So if you ever set up a baby shelter, set it up with a gate that opens outwards or that has a step over because that's even easier to step over than to run a gate because they're all gonna bomb me at the gate and trying to get in there is a big pain in the tail. Later, when they're trainable, you can use a squirt bottle and say back and teach them not to rush you at the gate and that can really be an advantage. But it's hard when we just have these guys here for a little bit. We don't necessarily try to train that into them. We're just mainly trying to raise good goats so that when people come and get theirs, then they can do the training from that on their own. So I want you to see how easy it is to bottle feed uh, a bunch of baby goats um, when you run this system. Uh, another thing is, is I highly recommend you do not use these chains. And here's a little trick I use, by the way. Come on, babies. Come on, babies. Come on over here. Over here. I'll fool you. All right, now I didn't have to worry about being rushed. And I'm gonna pull this over here so you can see this. Here's another trick I use. So a lot of times they'll get in the way of that. So I'll put it over here and then hurry, just put it in there. And you gotta get that down quickly. And then we'll put these guys on the other side. There you go. There you go, come over here. Now this little guy likes to switch nipples. And these are the big guys that I'm looking out for. These two guys will eat way faster than anybody else. And this brown one likes to come off and then push everybody else off. You'll see him, I'll let him do it once so you can see what it looks like. He's gonna pull off, push the other one off on the other side and uh, you know, become, oh, he almost did it right there. Here, let me get you over here. Come over here. Come here, come here, come here. There you go, right there. Well, he's not pulling off right now, but he, he usually does. And then I'll look in here, kind of see how they're doing on milk. Now this little guy, there he goes. So see how he just bounces the other guys off? So I'm always kind of ready for him. And you'll get to know your goats that do that. What I'm doing right here is I'm checking their bellies. These two goats eat so fast that I'll check their bellies. Whereas these guys eat so much slower, they just have a harder time getting full as fast. 
And as soon as their belly is tight or firm, but not tight, is when I pull them off. I don't let them get all footballed out. See how they are. Everybody's still going pretty good. He's doing his little thing again. I'm gonna pull these two guys off here in just a second. Yep, okay, come here guys. And then I'm gonna push them in here. And then now we got these guys who can feed on their own and take their time. Get on that one, buddy. So these little guys, you kind of got to help them and make sure they get to it okay. And the other two that you pull off are going to be the scourge. Hi, buddy. What are you doing? I know. I'm so evil. So that's how you do this. It's really, really simple. Gosh, it makes your life easy. And cleaning up this bucket after you get done is, is 10 times easier. Go right there, buddy. Um, these little guys kind of need that help every now and then. Now, when one of these guys like pulls off, he's getting full. And so I'll, I'll let them pull themselves off and take a break. I'm not going to put these little guys back on. When they're done, I let them be done. See, he's nice and full, and he's kind of regulating himself pretty good. You guys good? Yeah, you're good. And then if you ever get one goat that just eats so much slower than the other one, or is like this one, where they do this a lot, they'll, they'll come off and then they'll just put their face right next to the other goat. See how he keeps doing that? And he's waiting and he'll sit here and waste time and won't eat. And then he'll miss out on the feeding. So I'll monitor him, make sure he's nice and full, which he is. So he must be drinking more quickly. See how everybody's kind of becoming disinterested? So that, that's my cue. These guys are done. I don't like let them keep going and keep going and keep going. Um, I'm always kind of taking them to that point where it's like, oh, I'm kind of on, I'm kind of off, and then I call it good. And then we roll out. So I hope you find that helpful. My name is Mark Warnke. I help people with goats. If you're learning how to raise babies and things like this are brand new to you and you're like, man, I need to know more about raising babies, go to mygoatguide.com. I have a free seminar where I'll teach you the things that you need to know about raising a baby goat. It'll help you so much. And if you have other forms of goats, milkers, packers, all that stuff's available on packgoats.com. I have courses that'll teach you how to do all the facets of raising goats. I'm deeply grateful. Thanks for watching.